Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. If you haven't noticed, Cricut made some changes to Design Space recently and one of those was some changes in the layers panel. These include button changes as well as the ability to rename layers. So I thought we'd do another video about the layers panel, exactly how to use it, and some of the features. I'm going to go over each of the changes, how they work, and in some cases, point you to some other videos I've done for an in-depth look at some of the changes that have been made. So now the layers panel we're going over, I'm on a PC and I am on a computer, it's not a mobile device. So these features will look different if you're on mobile and might look slightly different if you're on Mac, but it should be fairly similar on a Mac. So let's head to Cricut Design Space and take a look at that layers panel and how it functions. When you're in Cricut Design Space, the panel to the right is called the Layers Panel. And there have been some recent changes, so let's talk about those. I have some example pieces already laid out on my canvas just to help us walk through these changes. So the first is if I just have one layer selected, you'll see a couple of these turn black. And I'll unselect it so you can see they're all grayed out. And when I select it, they turn black. So the one on the end is Delete, and if you hover over any of these, it will tell you what it is. So delete will remove it. Duplicate is the next one and it will duplicate it or make another layer. And then if you'll notice if I just have one layer selected, this third one is grayed out. So if I select a second layer, either by choosing two layers or holding the shift key down and choosing a second layer, all of a sudden that layer becomes black. That is the group and also the ungroup button. When it first highlights and I pick it, it's going to group those hearts together into a group. If I was to choose that same button again, while the group is picked, it would ungroup those and go back to the original layout with the hearts ungrouped. So the group and group has been combined into one button. Underneath that panel, you will find each of your layers and you can click on each of those to pick it. And if you hold the shift key down on a PC and click another layer, both of those layers will highlight. You can also double click any layer now and you can change the name. So I can make this heart right, heart left, triangle left, and finally triangle right. So this allows me to name the layers whatever I would like so I can tell the difference between them better. Notice the current configuration with the hearts in the front. Whatever is on the top in this layers panel is at the front. So if I take triangle right and move it all the way up, just by clicking, holding, and dragging the layer, it will move it to the front. I can now move these layers around to whatever configuration I would like, moving them to the front and the back just by dragging them on the layers panel. The same thing goes if I was to pick both of these hearts group them, I now have a group in front. If I moved my triangle up, the triangle will come to the front. I could also drag the triangle into the group and now it is part of the group. So if at any point you want to drag something into a group or even out of a group, you can do that. So now you can see that I've removed all the pieces from the group except for one. And if I remove that last one, the group goes away. So that's another way to ungroup something. The bottom of the layers panel changed a little bit too. Just to note, this did not change, but you do have a blank canvas layer down here. At any point you can pick that and you can actually change the color of your canvas if you did not know. So if at any point you wanna change the color of the background, you could change that to a different color. So sometimes a different color of canvas will help you see things better, will help you visualize your projects better. And that's always been there, but just in case you did not know. The bottom toolbar had some changes as well. Again, if you don't have anything picked, all of these will be grayed out. If I just pick one thing, these first three will always be grayed out. But if I pick more than one, you'll start to see some of the options. Remember that the first for slice is only if you have exactly two things picked. And if you're wondering where weld went, just pull down the combine and you'll see weld is there as it always was. Now there are some more options besides weld for combining objects now in Cricut Design Space. Those include Unite, Subtract, Intersect, and Exclude. And I have a whole other video on that, and I will link to that in the description below this video. So you can head there if you don't understand these options, and I will walk you through each of those 
and what they do and when to use them. Finally on the layers panel, we do have the color sync. I have went through this before, but just really quickly, you can actually drag one color into another and change the color of an object. So if you ever need to change the color of several different things, it's often easier to just drag and drop them in the color sync panel than change each individual layer. You can also drag and drop one entire color into another color. So you can change the color of everything in one color to the other color if you needed to. So I just wanted to go over a few other scenarios for the drag and drop. So we're just in the main layers panel and I have the hearts attached together and the triangles attached together. If I were to drag the entire attached layer into the triangles, everything would turn purple. And this group that's attached together would become a part of the other group and they would all be attached together. So dragging and dropping within groups or within layers that are attached together will bring that piece into the group or into the group of attached layers. So hopefully this helps you understand the new layers panel in Cricut Design Space. So hopefully this helps explain all the changes in the layers panel. It might even give you a refresher course in the layers panel. I feel like every time I do one of these, I remember something that I didn't even know Design Space would do, and it refreshes my memory as well to start using some of those features. The color sync is something I always forget about, and the fact that I can change that background color on my canvas. So there might have been a feature in this that you were like, wow, I didn't even know that existed, and it's been around a long time. So hopefully this helped you master the layers panel in Cricut Design Space. So now I did mention another video that I have on that combine function. I'm gonna leave that in the description below this video. If you're on computer, scroll down and click show more below the video. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up depending on how you're watching. You'll find a list of links and that one will be included. Now if you have any questions about the layers panel, you can ask those in the comment section below. If you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.